Hello everybody, we are here with uh, Ivan Ereza. Ivan is, uh, used to be my student, Eva era mi alumno, cuando tenías, how old were you, Ivan, when you were first uh, my, my student? I think it was five. You were five? Five, because I came to Wisco at the age of five, and uh -huh. you started to give me classes. Yes, so I started, I started giving you classes when you were five, exactly, five to six, yeah. right? Yes, for two years, right? Yeah, from five to seven. Right. Do you remember anything from, from then? Yeah, uh, I still remember several things of the classes. Yes, you brought uh, some lists of sen uh -huh. with sentences uh -huh. for us to repeat and learn them. All right. And you told us stories about your friends and your dogs. And All right. Something weird. Yes. <laughs> and we laughed a lot. We laughed a lot yeah, in your yeah. classes. Yeah. Well, uh, do you think it is important to have fun when you go to school? Of course. Of course, it's the main thing you have to do. Right. That's it. You feel like studying. You want to learn more English Very or good. anything you you're learning. Awesome. Your English is awesome now. That, that's really cool. So uh, we ha I had you when you were five to seven or eight or something like that. And then, and then you came to you talk, right? Yes. When, when, you finished, uh, when you finished primary school. So you've been studying English pretty much all your life, right? Yeah. Uh, also, uh, when I lived in Barbastro, mm -hmm. before I was five, mm -hmm. I also studied English. Mm -hmm. And I remember me, my, well, my friends, my mm -hmm. brother and I, We first uh, went to your to your house because you you gave lessons there, uh -huh. and then you talk started. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I remember that because before before I started this this company, I was teaching uh, at home, and then and you came with your with your brother. So yeah, we've been together for many years. Yes. Very good, very good. And uh, I want you to see something because uh, when you were six, I think seven, uh, because I already liked to do videos. Back then, por aquel entonces. ¿Cómo se dice por aquel entonces? Back then. Back then, exactly, right? And uh, so I recorded you when you were seven. You, you're going to see it right now because I have it right here on my iPad. And uh, check it out. Good morning. Good morning, Fran. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, but I'm a little bit tired. Ask me why. Fran, why are you tired? I'm tired, kids. It's funny because you say tired. ¿Cómo, cómo dice la mayor parte de la gente? What? Según tu experiencia. Uh, how most people, how do they say that at school? Something like tired or... Tired, exactly, yes. <laughs> And why, why do you think that? Why do you think most people say tired instead of tired? Because I think most people learn English by the, its grammar, mm -hmm. vocabulary, but they don't mm -hmm. learn pronunciation. And do you think uh, the, your teachers, uh, most teachers at high school... Uh, do correct you when you say when you make mistakes or they don't correct you or not? Uh, actually, it's funny because uh, several times I have had to correct them. <laughs> the teachers, no kidding. Yeah. Como se no fastidios. No kidding. No ki so you correcting the teachers? What are you talking about? So like, like for example, I'm the teacher and I'm saying uh, putiton or something like that, right? And what would you say? A teacher is not put it on, it's put it on. <laughs> oh my God. And, and so so you, you, brought, you said that to the teacher, right? Yeah, it's and a little maybe... I'm ashamed when I say it. Uh, but yes, and, and what, what was the reaction of those teachers? Usually, they, they don't like to admit it. <laughs> They're like, well, I think it may be I mean, it might, might both be ways. Or maybe that's American. And yeah. that's, you know. You're talking American and British. <laughs> <laughs> yes, any, any other mistakes that you remember teachers making? Yeah, the most usual ones. All right. Like, for example, mountain. Oh, or right, like that. mountain, yes. Instead of or, mountain. well, globe. Ah, oh, globe for what? Globe. La tierra or? Yeah, no, just for a, a globe. Oh, or yeah. sometimes uh, for a balloon. Oh, for a balloon they so say globe. That's a vocabulary mistake. Oh, como, como globo, globe. Yeah, es como globe. decir, en vez de tortilla, tortillation, ¿no? Yeah. Algo así, en vez de omelette. <laughs> oh, my God. And so, so you stopped and, and said something, right? Yeah, I laughed a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. You have to be careful with, it, with that. Okay, yeah, going back to that video. So you remember when you were seven and uh, you were speaking English like that? or Yeah, yeah, really? I, I still remember that. 
several things. <laughs> several things, very good. Do you remember I didn't, every time you guys said, eat sabuk, I said, no, no, you guys, eat sabuk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, and then I have another video, but this one is when, when I was teaching at home, okay? And, uh, and it's, uh, I've been talking about a dragon, and this was totally improvised. Like I said, hey, Ivan, talk about your bracelet, okay? Here's, here's the video. Has four legs. It many scales and a horn in his head. It's a big dragon. It can shine at night. It's green. Okay, that, that's amazing. You were in dragon, that. dragon, dragon, dragon. Because most people say dragon, dragon. Or no. something. If you say dragon, what's dragon? No, it's dragon. Right? Yeah, dragon. <laughs> like uh, a lot of the kids that I have taught, and how do you say it? I have taught, taught in the past. Yes. Uh, I, t I teach them to say uh, lion, leon, lion, okay? But then they go back to school and they uh, say, no, okay, in the school, no, it's a lion, it's a lion. <laughs> lion yeah. But like, it's the same with, with dragon, right? Like, everybody says dragon, and it's not dragon, it's dragon. Dragon, <laughs> all right. Uh, this was actually, it wasn't in my house, it was here yeah, in our first year. First year. All right, very cool. And then tell us, uh, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have one brother. A brother, and then he's older than you, yeah. right? One, one year older. And then he speaks English too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, by the name for him. Yeah. Do, you, do, you talk to, do you guys talk to each other in English? Not much. We used to. <laughs> yeah, used to no because kidding. Uh, our father encouraged us. I dicho, we used to. ¿Qué significa eso en español? Solíamos hacer. Oh, so, solíamos antes que hacíamos, sí. Muy bien. Because our father was all day encouraging us to, to study English mm -hmm. or to watch TV in English or... Yeah, hold on a second. Once you say it, I'm Hold on a second. Your daddy speaks English too. Yeah. And he 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 came with us, but he he started from scratch the film. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Now he speaks. I don't English. Know. He speaks really, 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 really good. Really yeah. good. Yeah. You, you talk. You guys talk to each other now or not in English? Also, we used to. <laughs> you, you guys used to. Yeah. Oh, now he's not studying here anymore because of. Uh, yeah, his job. Because he, of the job. Yeah, he, he has a lot of work. Yeah, but he learned a lot. Yeah. He was only studying and watching TV. And also. And was it was it also an example for you guys? Was he setting an example? Was it yeah, motivating yeah, for you to have your daddy? Yeah. Of course. If he wanted to speak English, so he was all day studying English. Yeah. So that, and practicing. And you guys yeah. felt like studying English too. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depending, right? Okay, very cool. So just one last thing. Um now you're 16? 16. 16. Yeah. Oh, you look 18 to me. Yeah. 16. All right. So you, you're 16 and uh, you, you, you're bilingual. I can tell you're yeah. bilingual, not, not only by your fluency, but also by the way you sound. Okay. And uh, when people listen to you, when people hear you speak English, what was their reaction? Like Sometimes uh, they people have. People your age or. Yeah. Well, people my age or even mm -hmm. teachers mm -hmm. of. Yeah, teachers. Mm -hmm. They have. Ask me if my parents are, oh, are from England or that, from that's America. A, that is the best compliment ever. Right? Is like, your daddy English or... Yeah. You know, well, what do you say? No, no, I just... No, I just study. <laughs> <laughs> you talk, all right? No, very cool. So what, what would be uh, your last recommendation to everybody your age or younger or older regarding English? If it's... If you recommend everybody yeah. learn it or... First of all, to... Concern about the importance of pronunciation, mm -hmm. speaking, interacting with mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Also, it's important the grammar vocabulary, as you said. But speaking, interacting is the most mm -hmm. important thing. Very good, very good, awesome. And also, what about because uh, you were telling me before when you were a kid, I told you guys to watch TV in English, yeah. cartoons and all that. I would give yeah, you sentences tricks. and. Uh, but uh, but now you're you're not watching TV anymore, but you're watching YouTube. Yes, right? nowadays I think people don't watch TV mm -hmm. anymore. Well, they. Yeah. Watch TV, but much, much less. Mm -hmm. uh, I think mucho menos, much less. Personally, know. I watch YouTube, mm -hmm. and I see a lot of people, or well, American mm -hmm. people, that they upload videos, and mm -hmm. personally, I like them very much. And mm -hmm. you also learn it's like watching TV. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So you constantly try to watch things on YouTube in English. Yeah, All right. That's yeah, because cool. I think it's very, very, well, very good content. Yeah, you need to check out our channel and subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's even even a song for you guys to subscribe. And everything. Okay. Anyways, hey Ivan, that was awesome. I'm really proud of you because uh, you're like my my son regarding sure. English. Because I yes. got you when you were six, and I all the way to right now. Because you're still coming to class here. Yeah. Oh, that's important to bring it to bring to bring it up. That's important to bring it up. Como se dice sacar a colación? To bring it up. 
Yeah, that's important to bring up. Uh, you're still coming here, and then most likely you're going to continue. And yeah. uh, so, thank you so much. Your English is outstanding. Como se dice? Outstanding. Outstanding. And, uh, and I hope you keep going like that. I, I'm, I'm positive. Estoy tan seguro that it's going to open, open doors right and left for you. Okay. It has already done. Yeah, it's, it has already yeah, yeah. opened. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Good job. Thank you so much. And uh, see you. you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Subscribe, subscribe. You're not gonna die. Subscribe, subscribe. And it won't make you cry. Come on, dude. Don't be a fool. Just go ahead and make that move. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe, subscribe. You're not gonna die. Subscribe, subscribe, and it won't make you cry. Subscribe, 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 subscribe.